Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Mobile Low Poly Battle Arena Tower Defense Desert Pack. Bit of a long title, but it gets to the point eventually. Yep, it's a desert pack. Now, I reviewed one of these um, recently, maybe not quite so recently. Uh, it was like the green one version of this, and this is obviously the desert pack. Um, I like these, I think they're really, really nice. Uh, so the creator's done a great job of actually creating something very decent here. Now, the scene that it comes in, uh, or at least one of the scenes, because there's like a, an inventory scene where you can see everything individually, but this is a pre-built scene, and this looks absolutely fantastic, much like the other one does. Uh, obviously, it's a desert theme, so you've got different assets in this one. You've got the little cacti here, uh, the little uh, cactus plants, as it were. You've got sand instead of water. Uh, generally things are kind of the same, but you can tell it is a completely different environment. And yes, I think this is perfect for a tower defense style game, or like a, you know, a battle arena kind of thing, like it suggests. Um, check out that little thing there, the little cow skull. I think something like that is a nice little touch. So quality wise, it is really, really awesome. And you could literally take a lot of this and build your own arena. You don't necessarily have to take it as it is. You can build build it however you want it to look. You're not restricted to just this scene. Um, if we go to the game view, I've applied a little bit of post-processing as well. In fact, I'm going to press play so we can see how it pans out with that post-processing. Uh, and you can see here the quality is, it is really good. Just look at that, the sand ripping down. I really like that effect. Obviously, we've got the chest again, we've got the flames. It's really, really nice. And I can see this being used um, in pretty much any style of game that would be like a tower defense sort of thing. Obviously it's geared towards mobile more because of its quality and simply because of its size. The size is 1.6 meg, which is I think the same as the other one that I reviewed. That's a really good size for what you get. That is fantastic and it's free as well. Can't get better than free. Obviously it is very customizable. The versatility of it is quite high because you could take some of these things like the cube for example and just change it if you wanted to make it completely red or blue or whatever I, I guess you know it's up to you how you want to customize it but obviously these uh, materials you can play around with change them into different styles and you can see already just how much of an impact that has made to this scene changing the color do whatever you need to do with it now extras there's not too much in the way of extras this is where it gets a little bit um, not complex, but it can be a little bit confusing. Now, when I imported this pack, I actually came, it came with some errors. Those errors are to do with these three scripts, the chest demo, uh, the material mover, and the rotator. Because I had the previous one installed, all I had to do was just rename these scripts to have the number two at the end, and then change the class name to match the script name as well. And that fixed any errors. The reason there's a clash is because it's the exact same script that's used within the other pack and any other packs that this creator has. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you don't necessarily even have to have these scripts if you don't want. So you've got some materials to play around with. There's the chest animation. Uh, you've got all the models as usual. Um, and I think really, even if you're not creating this style of game, there is probably going to be something in here which may be of use to you in your game, no matter what, even if it's just this bridge here. So the whole thing is somewhat modular, so you could create, you know, m much more to this than meets the eye, because you could, for example, take that out there, add an extra bridge, bring it over here, you know, you could do all kinds of things. So it's very customizable in that way, and that's what I like about it. Obviously, boulders, nice and neat, just like the other one. I, I really love neat and tidy folders, and the demo scenes are always great. Uh, so if we go into the infantry scene, we can see that that is exactly what it is. You can see everything laid out neat and tidy that you can use within this entire pack, and it's really, really great. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. And yes, I would recommend this one. This is a great asset pack. If you're creating something mobile, this is going to be great. Whether it is the style of game it suggests it could be, the whole battle arena thing, even if you're not creating that, you will find something fantastic for a mobile game in here. And if you're creating a low poly game of any type, you'll probably find something useful within this package. That's why I would recommend it. I think it's a great asset package. Even if you're new to Unity, you just want to learn a couple of things, this is going to be great for you to play around with and learn various different mechanics. 
So guys, have you used this asset? Tell me what you think of it in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What don't you like about it? What could be improved? All that kind of thing. And if you've got any assets on the asset store, whether it's free or paid, let me know because I'd love to take a look and possibly review it. Don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with everything I have on video game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.